Hey gang, we have covered headlight restorations before. We've gone over different kits, the 3M kits and some of the other ones. We're going to put those kits in the trash can today. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do them here completely and uh, permanently. So let's get it done. Okay, we've all seen this. The factory coating is failing slowly but surely. It's clouding over and eventually will not pass inspection. So first thing is first, and that is a thorough masking, especially around the seals, the trim around the headlight, and uh, the parking light assembly is attached with this vehicle. So it's all one unit. We're gonna take care of the whole thing. Along with the masking tape, we have uh, plastic hanging over the whole front clip of the car, and that's for a reason. But we'll address that later. First, we're gonna grab a 600 grit disc, hook and loop. We're going to attach it to the mini polisher slash sander, and we're gonna to go to work and remove the entire, well, what's left of it anyway, um, clear coating from factory that may be still left on this headlight. When it comes to headlight restorations and removing that clear coat, I always go for the 600 grit disc. It's nice and aggressive, especially when attached to this tool. So we can buzz that down quickly, save a little time, be more efficient, and get to the next step. This little polisher doesn't have the constant water feed that some polishers do. So stop every once in a while, grab a water bottle, and spray, rinse off some of that residue. I never I'm going to stop prematurely here and bring you in close because I want you to see some spots um, I purposely left right there and there and there. Those are spots that still have a bit of factory, factory clear. We're going to go back and buzz that off and get to the next step. When you have it completely removed, I'm going to go and take off the 600 grit. I'm going to grab a 2500 grit. So this is quite a bit different than um, a wet sanding clear coat with these machines. I'm going to go to the 2500 grit and since it's uh, completely free of that old spent um, factory clear coating, we can now polish out the sanding marks from the 600 grit and prepare it to uh, fine tune it before we put that protective clear coat on. If you take notice as we're sanding here, the area we have already gone over is getting lighter and clearer. That haze is uh, slowly going away from just the 2500 grit alone. Being through that factory clear and down onto the plastic housing itself for the headlight, it's not going to take long or not going to take much to correct and get it ready for the uh, protective clear. So I want to rinse off the residue. I'm going to bring you in and show you exactly what it looks like at this step here. All right, so now we are ready to get rid of the hazing, the cloudy look um, altogether. So we're gonna bring in the Creos Garage three inch polisher. We're gonna use a medium cut polishing cream and we're gonna polish it to perfection. It's gonna be perfectly clear after this step. Take your time here. Make sure the surface is perfect, perfect the way you want it. Cause once the clear is on, it's gonna be too late to make any changes. Thank you. 
Okay, so let me wipe off the residue and show you what it looks like perfectly clear. And we are now ready for the protective coat. The protective coat, by the way, is a non-yellowing UVA, UVB resistant clear coat for a spray gun. It's not that cheap crap that you wipe on and hazes over within um, three, four months, nor is it anything out of a bomb can. So this looks good right here. We're going to get to it. But before we do, we're going to remove whatever polish or compound that still might be left over on the lens from correcting. We need to remove that 100%. Let's prepare the gun. We're going to insert a plastic lining. When you're finished painting, just slide out the lining, throw it away. Makes cleaning easy and quick. We're going to uh, put in I, a quarter of the canister full of the clear and that will be enough for both headlights. All you really need to do for cleanup is pull out that sleeve, throw it away, run some thinner through the spray nozzle, make sure none of that clear is left over in there, and you're good to go. Simply spray the clear evenly over top of the lens, lay down two coats, well, you can put down as many as you want, but I usually just put down two nice thick coats, let it dry, and you're good to go. And the finished product is a completely restored, permanently restored headlight. No uh, labor paid to a mechanic to rip out the old ones, put in some new ones. All you have to do is wait for it to dry, pull off the masking tape, go around that trim and make sure there is no residue, no polish, um, nothing stuck in between the trim and the fender. Okay gang, so when it comes to pricing uh, a full permanent restoration like that, it's going to be 70% of what the um, headlight, uh, the pair of headlights cost for that vehicle new. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment box. This is Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.